The Irish Wolfhound is a large hound breed hailing from Ireland, with a wiry double coat and a lanky yet muscular physique. This dog sure does stand out. While it was initially bred as a big game hunter, it now is a quite beloved family pet. The Irish Wolfhound is actually a gentle soul who enjoys the company of everyone and is particularly fond of children and other dogs. So let's dive deeper into the world of the Irish Wolfhound and explore the fascinating history of this breed. The Irish Wolfhound is a breed known for its imposing height. In fact, it is the tallest dog breed you'll see out there. But there's definitely more to a good Wolfhound than just being tall. This breed is both sturdy and swift, capable of running down and killing large animals. With a build quite similar to that of a Greyhound, the Wolfhound is larger and stockier. With long legs, a comparatively narrow body, slightly arched loin, deep chest, and a moderately small waist. Its tail is long and carried low, a common trait among sighthounds. In addition to its impressive build, the Irish Wolfhound boasts a harsh, wiry coat that can withstand cold, damp weather and allow the dog to run through thick brush without getting scratched. Wolfhound guardians also appreciate the distinctive long eyebrows and beard that add to the breed's noble expression. So just how big are these gentle giants? Males are typically at least 32 inches tall, with a height of 36 inches not being uncommon. They weigh at least 120 pounds, with many weighing even more. Even if they were to curl up, which they rarely do, they would still be considered large dogs. All of these physical traits combine to make the Irish Wolfhound a truly impressive and unique breed. Before we continue, make sure to check the links in the description. We found the best deals for online dog training, dog supplies, pet insurance, and more. What are you waiting for? Coming back to its history, the Irish Wolfhound is a breed that boasts a rich and fascinating origin story. Stretching back centuries, its origins can be traced back to the birth of trade between the British Empire and the Middle East. At the time, dogs native to Britain were bred with Middle Eastern hounds that had been bartered. This crossbreeding resulted in the development of the Irish Wolfhound as we know it today. One of the earliest accounts of the breed comes from a Roman consul in the year 391. He described receiving seven majestic Irish hounds as a gift, which he reportedly admired greatly. These dogs were likely the ancestors of the modern Irish Wolfhound breed. Throughout history, the Irish Wolfhound was primarily used as a big game hunter due to its imposing size and strength. However, in the 15th century, the breed was put to work hunting the overpopulation of wolves in Ireland but also nearly led to the extinction of the wolfhound breed itself, as the breed was no longer needed for its original purpose. A new beginning. Then, in the mid-1800s, a British army captain named George Augustus Graham recognized the remaining Irish wolfhounds and worked to preserve and standardize the breed. Graham's efforts helped to revive the breed and eventually led to its recognition by the American Kennel Club. In the early 20th century, the Irish wolfhound's comeback really ramped up a notch. And in 1922, the first official breeding program took place when the three pairs of hounds were imported from Germany. The following year, the Kennel Club recognized the breed, calling it the most beautiful of all sighthounds. Today, more than 100 years later, the Irish Wolfhound remains among the world's top 10 breeds. With that, our video has come to an end here. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more pets and dog-related content. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.